Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi taala wabarakatuh and a very good day to all. How are you today? I hope that all of you are as fit as a fiddle. Remember to always comply with the SOP set by the government. Stay at home, all right? If you need to go out, please wear double face mask. Okay, avoid um, crowded places, always practice physical distancing, etc. As for today's sharing session, I'm going to share with all of you the final report for project-based learning one that I had with my year 5 DK pupils, end of May. So yeah, somewhere end of May. Before that, I'm Mr. Muhammad Haikal bin Ablachi and I'm from SK Abdul Samad. Let's go. Okay, the timeline for this project, okay, it held, uh, it was held from 17th of May 2021 until 30th May 2021, approximately about two weeks. All my year five gig pupils, around 31 of them, are given two different assignments. Okay, the first one, they need to produce a scrapbook or they can also present their project in PowerPoint presentation. There are four different questions, okay, chapters for this project and the second assignment, assignment two, is a speaking video whereby they need to record a short video about three to four minutes. Okay, they need to share about the whole project. So everyone, this is the question paper. There are four different questions. Okay, the first chapter, they need to produce uh, two circle maps, one for healthy food and the other one is for unhealthy food. And as for the second, second chapter, sorry, uh, they need to make three maps. Okay, the first map is for countable nouns and the second one is for uncountable nouns. Okay, moving on. The third chapter is about my favorite food. They need to share about themselves. Okay, what is their favorite food? When did they usually eat the food? Okay, maybe they can share about uh, the recipe. Okay, and the final chapter is my food blog. So, uh, blog is one of the text types that they learned in uh, your five, specifically in unit five. All right, so the second assignment, assignment two, I can speak. All right, uh, the main focus is I want to build their self-confidence in speaking in front of the camera. Uh, in this assignment, they just need to share about their project, the final product of their project. Okay, maybe they can show their scrapbook or they can also talk about uh, the PowerPoint presentations that they have produced. Okay, so the video should be within three to five minutes. All right, so let's see. Final product for assignment one. Okay, altogether, I received uh, 13 scrapbooks and 16 PowerPoint presentation. 94% uh, of the students, 29 of 31 students submitted their assignment. Okay, for me, it's an achievement because uh, yeah, more than 90% of the students uh, completed the task given. What about the two students? Okay, you're going to find out later. All right. These are the scrapbooks produced by uh, the 13 students. Okay, they are very vibrant, colorful, and it really showcases their creativity. And these are... Okay, uh, a snapshot of their PowerPoint presentations. Okay, some of them. I'm a bit happy actually, uh, because most of the, most of them, eh, sixteen of them, uh, produce uh, a PowerPoint presentation. And actually, if you talk about uh, the cross curricular elements, okay, this is the, the ICT integration. All right. Yay! <laughs> okay, so the final product for task two all together, I received twenty eight videos. Uh, this time around, three students did not submit uh, the videos. Okay, two is the usual suspects, another one uh, 
students do not submit because uh, she missed out this one. She told me, but it's okay, right? Okay, so all right, so I've uh, texted and also contacted the two students who did not submit the project based learning. Okay, I asked why they did not submit uh, the the assignment. So unfortunately, okay, one student uh, actually inactive number. Okay, so we can we could say that lost contact from the uh, from the beginning of the uh, MCO. And sadly, for the second uh, student, yeah, uh, blue tick, but no response at all. Okay, so I've done my job. Okay, to figure out why they're not, uh, why they're not, uh, why they're there, why they did not submit the assignments. Okay, so let's focus on the other twenty one students. Okay, who had put so much efforts, hard work in producing the uh, assignment okay this is my overall feedbacks for this assignment most students really put effort in producing an outstanding scrapbook and also presentation i'd like to uh, congratulate also to those uh, who opt for powerpoint presentation okay well done next okay uh, some students also did contacted me okay to check on their assignments, okay, assignments especially uh, the writing part, okay, before the submission. So for me, this is a very good attitude, okay. When you are in university, also you need to refer to your lecturers, right? Okay, whether you are on the right track or not, so it can minimize the errors. It's okay because it's just primary school, what. Right? Okay, so I need to guide them also. I need to check first, and of course they want to produce a, a scrapbook or PowerPoint that is uh, less error there. All right, the next point: uh, a few students, I guess uh, around two to three students, are still confused. Yeah, with second map and also three map. Oh, very unfortunate because actually we have done a lot of these maps in classroom. Okay, in the beginning of uh, each unit, actually, I, I always ask them to make a short notes. Okay, uh, as the vocabs that they learned, uh, in uh, the chapter, right, and transform it into a map. But it's okay. Okay, and I have uh, enlightened them about this matter. Okay, and the next one, very impressive speaking videos. Though still most students made a very very few grammatical errors lah, but it's totally okay. Especially uh in terms of singular and plural, yeah, using is are uh, very basic lah, very common one. It's okay, but it's okay, okay. Uh, learn from mistakes. All right, the next one. Twenty six out of twenty eight students submitted both task one and task two. Yeah, assignment one and assignment two by thirtieth of May. Only to exceed uh, the deadline, but again, it's okay as long as they submit their yeah, assignment. And Alhamdulillah, I could say that uh, the, uh, the objectives are achieved. All right, I did share some snippets of their speaking videos on YouTube, so you can uh, search Unit Five, Food and Health, English Plus One Year Five. Okay, so yeah, let's view a bit. Oh, this is very creative. This oh. girl is. Hi everyone, creative. my name is Hawan Zulaika. Binti Zaire from 5 GT. Today, I'm going to show you guys to my PowerPoint project. Let's go. Hi guys, my name is Muhammad Aris Dawes bin Mahfouzi. This is my script. Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. I'm Nur Arambal Kiss video editor from class 5 GT. <laughs> Today, I will show you about my script book. This is my script book. Here are some examples for unhealthy food. They are cake, cream, 
and deep the window night. No, oh, this is very pressy. Like most are sweet. Okay, you can watch the rest of the video on YouTube. All right, all the top 14 uh, scorers, okay, those obtained high marks for um, assignment one, and so I've ended up with assignment two. So I call them the top 14 scorers. We'll get uh, an Oxford dictionary with RM35 ringgit. Alright, I'd like to take this opportunity to thank some of my friends who willingly contributed uh, for the presents, okay? Thank you very much uh, to all these just generous people for their generous contribution, right? So, I managed to audit, I managed to order 14 dictionaries, okay, from Shopee. Okay, thank you very much. So, let's reveal who are among the luckiest one. As for Scrapbook, I've chosen the best six. Okay, again, uh, students who scored uh, the higher mark. Lah. All right, the highest mark. Okay, the top six students who scored the highest mark for both assignment one and assignment two. Right, uh, well done, Nur Hadura Rifki bin Timamat Rozi, Nur Iman bin Timamat Joha, Muhammad Ali bin Muhammad Nur Effendi, Nur Dini Marisa bin Timamat Saifuddin, Ahmad Dani Islan bin Nur Hanafia, and Mardina Zahra Alwisha bin Ti Abdul Rahman. Okay, so these are the top six for best scrapbook, and next, top eight for best PowerPoint presentation. Okay, not just the yeah, PowerPoint presentation, but also speaking video. Okay, congratulations, Norshi Fatira Sofian, Howard Rizulaika bin Zairi, Muhammad Mamdu Lukman bin Saiful Anwar, Sheikh Muhammad bin Sheikh Ismahadi, Raisha Zahra bin binti Muhammad Carol Zam, Akit Nadir bin Zamri, Ayman or Kairin bin Shaharuddin. And Nurkalisha Alia binti Kairul Aswad. Congratulations! So they have received uh, the dictionary. Okay, so take a look at their happy faces. Kalisha Alia, Howard, Ali, Mamdu, Emmanuel Kairin, Ali, Hadura, Didi Marisa, Nuriman, Akit Nadir. Marina Zahra, Shifa, Atira. Once again, congratulations. All right, so okay, almost at the end of this sharing session. Uh, yeah, well done to all. Okay, keep on doing good things. Keep on going. All right, uh, those who did not get the dictionary, no worry because. Okay, don't worry, no worries, because there will be another project-based learning end of this year. So try harder next time, produce better works, okay, inshallah, your turn, okay, in the second uh, project. Okay, and uh, remember, don't ever give up, don't ever surrender. And I'd like to take this opp opportunity to thank to all parents, okay, who had uh, guide, we had guided their children, okay, who had motivated the children, okay, to complete both assignments. Well done, parents, okay. It's all about kemanjian dan murid, um, it's all about uh, semuanya bermula dari rumah, okay. Uh, I guess that's all for now. Um, yeah, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi ta'ala wabarakatuh.